Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about an extremely important concept called variation. Variation. Variation is used to express words as equations and it's used heavily, heavily in physics and in other sciences. So there's three main types of variation. So the first type is if someone says y varies directly. So if you see the word directly, so y varies directly as x. Another way to say this is y is directly proportional to x. So the key word here is directly. This is often called direct variation. So whenever you see directly, it's just equals and then it's k times x. You might say, what is k? What could this be? Well, k is called the constant of proportionality or variation. I'll just call it the constant of propor... I should have picked the shorter word. <laughs> proportionality. Big words. So k is called the constant of proportionality or the constant of variation. So if you see directly anywhere, you just know it's k times x. And you can change these variables, right? If I said m varies directly as p, it would be m equals k times p. So y and x are just, are just variables. It could be any other letter. Let's suppose instead that we had something like, um, let's see, something like this. y varies inversely. So the key word here is inversely. So y varies inversely as x. Another way to say this would be y is inversely proportional to x. Then you would have y equals k over x. Okay, y equals k over x. So when you see inversely, you want to think about uh, you want to think about division. And the very last case that we sometimes uh, see is when we see something like this: y varies jointly. So the key word here is jointly as x and z. So it's 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 varying to two proportional to two variables, so hence the word jointly. So y equals k times x times z. Okay, so the first one is called direct variation, the second one is called uh, inverse variation, and the third one is called joint variation or, or combined uh, variation. Let's go ahead and do one simple example in this video just so you see uh, a typical problem uh, where, where this is used. So let me scroll down. And uh, here's example. EX means example. So let's see. Uh, let's say we have that Y varies directly. So Y varies directly. As X. So we're told that. And then we're also told that Y is equal to 65 when X is equal to 5. Okay, we're told that as well. And then the question is to find y when x is equal to 12. Okay. So when you do these problems for the first time, you want to do them really, really slowly and carefully. So I always do it one step at a time. So the first step is you read the question. So y varies directly as x. And then you write that down. So y equals kx. So you always do that first. The second step is to find k. You always have to find k in these problems. So you write down your equation, and now you have to find k. So usually you use the next piece of information in the problem to find k. So this here should tell us how to find k. So it says y is 65 when x is 5. So what we'll do is we'll plug in 65 for the y. So we'll get 65 equals k times 5. And then to solve for k, we'll just divide by 5. So divide by 5. So let's see, 65 divided by 5 is equal to 13. Okay, 13. And that's equal to k. So k is equal to 13. 
So now that we've found k, what we do is we plug it back into our equation, right? So we have y equals 13x. So again, step one is to write down the equation, right? That's, that's step one. Step two is to find k. So step two is you always want to find k. This is true for word problems too. Usually you have like a word problem. So you read it really slowly one step at a time. So step one, you set up your equation. Step two, you find k. And then step three, you finish, right? You finish. Now step two could be broken down into two steps. Find k and plug it back in, but that, that's fine. So finish. So find y when x is 12. So the very last step is to actually find y when x is 12. So y equals 13. And then x is 12. I think this is 156, but let me just be safe. Yep, 156. So y is equal to 156. That's it. I hope this video uh, has been helpful.